Hey guys, it's Alex. I'm here with a hip strength video for you. Again, we're outside because it's so nice out today. So I'm taking advantage of that. So uh, for our video today, it's all about hip strength, like I said. So awesome if you have any knee pain, um, if you're a runner, awesome to just prevent anything, keep those hips nice and strong while you're running. Um, cycling, gosh, any sport, uh, it's just great for some hip stability, for great to protect those knees if they're giving you a little bit of trouble. So today we just need one piece of equipment, that is a stretchy band or a resistance band. Uh, this one is a straight one, like one, meter or something like that I have tied it into a circle but you could also have one of those bands that also already comes in a circle or a loop uh, that would work perfect as well so it doesn't matter so we're gonna use this today let's get started uh, I think I have five exercises for us today um, if you have any questions or need any modifications to any of these exercises that I show you just give us a little comment in the bottom there or give us a message and one of us can definitely help you with that too so let's get started. I'm going to go over here. Okay, so for our first exercise, uh, we're going to do a couple standing up. Um, very first one we're going to do is learn how to do a proper squat. So lots of people find that a little bit intimidating. Uh, this one's super easy. I'm going to be using this chair and this band, but you definitely don't need the chair. So first we're going to start with our band around our knees. So it doesn't need to be flat or anything like that. I just have it kind of rolled up. Uh, my little ties are off to the side. I find that kind of works better, but uh, anything that works for you. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna get myself set up right in front of my chair. Now, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit before we start because the technique of the squat is very important, especially for the knees and for the strength of the hips. So biggest thing we're gonna talk about during this whole video is a hip knee foot alignment so I want you to either watch in a mirror or just look down at yourself to make sure you always have that so what that means is that you're looking for your hip bone to line up straight with the kneecap to line up straight with the foot or the kind of long middle toe there that you have so um, what we're gonna start out with is just keeping your back up nice and straight you can look ahead of you or look at something that you have in your house or even outside um, hands can be anywhere you want. So I'm gonna maybe keep mine on my hips. They can go crossed over your chest. They can go down by your side. You can even hold a little weight or anything that you need to do to make this harder. So let's do 10. We're gonna do this together. So I'm gonna start here. Now, when I start bending my hips, I'm also gonna turn sideways and show you from that way as well. So when I start bending my hips backwards, I'm gonna fight to keep my chest up. It's almost like I'm trying to balance a book on my head. You know that typical saying, try to walk. So you're gonna keep that book on your head. You're gonna start squatting down like you're gonna sit down on the chair behind you. And as you can see, I'm just driving my knees out to the side away from each other and then back up. Now you definitely don't need to touch the chair behind you or you can if that feels okay. Take a adjustment for your feet. Maybe they need to be wider. Maybe they need to be slightly turned out. That's okay. If they are turned out, all you're gonna do is just make those knees go straight over top of the feet, just keeping that hip knee foot alignment like we talked about. So a good way to do a sumo squat or anything you wanna do there. So let's start with 10. That was one, nine more. So up. Bending the knees, driving them out. Keep driving them out as you maybe sit down or just hover above the chair. Drive back up, squeezing the butt cheeks. Now I'm gonna turn to the side here. Keeping the chest up, now we're on number three. Stretch those feet, drop down the bum, widen the knees, back up. Good, again. Good, we're halfway there, we're gonna do five more. Good. Switch it up if you need. Maybe you try some different arms. See what works better for you. Again, I'm just driving those knees out. Nine, and last one. Good, awesome. So again, for this video, we're gonna do one round of each, um, but then at the end, just do another round, maybe up to three to five rounds. So 
Next, we're gonna uh, move from the squat to a similar exercise called the monster walk. So monster walk um, is kind of like a standing walking squat, if you wanna put it that way. So I'm gonna start all the way over here by the wall. <laughs> um, and again, I just have that band above the knees. But if you wanna make it a little bit harder, just slowly start moving the band down. So maybe below, mid shins, even down to the ankle there. So what we're gonna do here is get our body in a little bit of a mini squat. So again, I like the hands on the hips, but doesn't matter at all. So hands here, little mini squat. Again, looking for that hip knee foot alignment, the knee right over top of the ankle, really important. Don't let those guys cave in, okay? Standing up nice, squat a little bit. Now, as we step, we're driving those knees out, keeping the chest up, really feeling it in the sides of the butt cheeks, maybe right where you put your hands in your pocket, and then back together. Step, knees out again, back together. Good, now I'm probably only gonna get three or four steps here, but at home, ooh, the sun. <laughs> but at home, I would do maybe 10 steps to 15 steps in each direction. Or if you're like me and you only have a little bit of space to work with, that's fine. Just do three or four, maybe five steps and just go back and forth. Good, I'm gonna do one more. Again, just spreading those legs, really driving out with the knees. I really feel it in each side of my butt cheeks there, or hips. Again, what you can do to make it harder is move that down to the ankles. And it just makes it a little bit harder on the hips. Good. Okay, awesome. We killed the monster walks there. Now I'm gonna ditch the band for this exercise now. We don't quite need it. We are gonna work on a little bit of quad and glute strength. So we're gonna do a reverse lunge. Um, you can do this standing by a wall or a railing that might work best for you. Um, I'm gonna do it by the railing there just to show you, but you could also do it freestanding and work on your balance as well. Okay, so I'm just standing beside the railing so I can touch it just for balance and we're gonna try a reverse lunge. So, like I say, I'm gonna pick one leg. We're gonna do that one 10 times. Then we're going to switch to the other leg. So standing up nice and tall, I'm gonna pick my right leg first and I'm gonna take a big step backwards with my right leg. So have my left leg firmly planted, foot is flat, back leg, the heel is up and the toe is down. Now, what I want you to watch for this one is this front leg, we're gonna have that hip knee foot alignment just like we talked about in the squat. So your chest is up nice and tall. Again, you'll see my hand on my hip here. Other hand is touching the railing. And all I'm gonna do, pretend like you're dropping down in an elevator. This back knee is just dropping straight down, touching or hovering the ground, and then push all the way back up, really squeezing my butt cheeks here on the front of this leg and the front of the back leg as well. So let me, here we go, let's do nine more. Lowering down, I'm watching this leg here to make sure that this knee straight over top of this foot. Don't let it cave into the inside. Okay, three, four, five. Good, we're feeling the burn in the front of the leg. Six, seven, Eight, good, you'll notice I'm not quite touching the ground here. I don't wanna hurt my knee. One more, good. Switching sides, I'm gonna show you from the front this time. Um, again, you can just use on a wall for balance if you need or challenge yourself. So now I'm stepping back with the left leg. So really want you to watch this right knee here. I'm gonna fight it wanting to collapse to the inside. I'm gonna be driving it out or keeping it nice and straight. So again, 10 here. One, push back up. Good, now we don't wanna let it collapse. Five, good, we're halfway done. 
Good, work on that balance. Really squeeze the core like you're zippering up. Good, don't let this come in. Really fight it out. Good, okay. Awesome job, guys. If you need, grab a drink of water. Keep that water bottle close to you. So again, we're gonna come down onto the ground and we're gonna use our band. I feel like I should have brought a water bottle out here. Okay. So grab that band, put it right around the tops of the knees again, and we're gonna lay down on my back. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. So glute bridge, another awesome exercise for the hips and the glutes. Um, what we're gonna be doing is laying flat on your back. Feet are flat, knees are apart, feet are apart. So again, our hip knee foot alignment, not letting the band squeeze the knees together. Fighting that resistance of the band, pulling them apart, okay? So get yourself set up, arms are flat. Tummy is tight, just like what we were doing in the squat there. We're gonna zip her up, and we're going to push your hands down on the floor, lift the bum up, squeezing your butt cheeks, squeezing your tongue. What I want you to do is come up nice and flat. See this straight line from my knees to my shoulders? Careful you're not pushing too high to make a rainbow. That will really hurt that lower back. So. Nice and tight core, squeeze the bum, back down. The whole time you're spreading those knees apart, making it a little bit harder for you. So nine more, ready, squeeze. Good, really keep driving that band apart. You can always make the band a little bit tighter to make it harder. Halfway done, six. Good, each time I'm squeezing. Three more, eight. Last one. Awesome job. Feel that butt burning. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna sit up to explain this one. I might even move myself a little closer, but. Um, next, we're gonna be working on a little bit of Jane Fonda type exercise. So we're gonna take it back to those DVDs we used to do in the living room. Um, we're gonna keep the band around the knees, but for this one, if you wanna make it a little harder, just like the monster walks, move this band down to the ankles, okay? So two options that we're gonna do here. Option one, clamshell. So typical Jane Fonda. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep the heels in line with the bum the head supported, you could use a pillow or just your own hand like I am, and ankles glued together, knees together, hips stacked on top of each other, okay? What we're gonna be doing is gluing the ankles together, spreading those knees apart, lifting up into that clamshell. Now, looks easy, but actually a lot of technique involved in a clamshell. What we don't want is for you to open all the way up so that you're facing the sky. We want to keep your shoulders and hip bones pointing straight towards the camera, okay? So hips are pointing this way. You can even use your pointer finger to just remind yourself that it's pointing this way or even hand to push yourself over. So again, just opening that top leg. I'm gonna try five here, one more. Good, so it's pretty hard. I really feel it in that pocket area, same like the monster walks. To make this harder, if this is a little bit too easy for you, straighten out those legs. My feet are parallel, so they look like an equal sign. And I'm just lifting up as high as I can. Back down. Okay, now this one's quite hard. Really want you to feel that burn in the top of the hip there. And again, if you wanna make this a little bit harder, just move that band right down to the ankles. Little bit of a longer lever, harder to stretch. Can't go quite as high, but it's much harder on the muscles there. Two more. Good. Okay, let's switch sides. I'm gonna move them back up to my knees. But if you found that it was better for you to keep 
the band around your ankles, then keep with that. So other side, clamshell. Now this is the little bit easier version. So like I said, you could go straight into that, uh, <laughs> straight into that straight leg version if you'd like. Uh, again, support your upper body however you'd like. So clamshell arms like this, or legs I mean, sorry. Ankles are glued together, top hip rolled over. Good, now gluing those feet. We're gonna do five. Good, and last one. Now, maybe challenge yourself on this side. Maybe keep the band around the knees. Maybe we're moving it down. Good. We're gonna do three more, a little nice and hard there. Ooh, one more. Good, okay. Awesome guys. Great little workout for the hips here, only using a band. So repeat that, do a couple of, uh, more rounds of those exercises to make at least three rounds of each. So get your band on again, start with those squats one more time, get those chairs out and uh, keep working hard. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, we'll be back soon with another video. We miss you all, hope you're doing well, bye.